If you have giant hands like me and you cancel your stealth all the time with evasion, you can prevent it using this macro. It will only let you use the ability out of stealth. This is really useful if the keybind for evasion is close to your button for stealth. I like to do this with cannibalize as well. I see a lot of rogues trying to save on keybinds by having backstab and ambush on the same button. As great as this sounds, it isn't a good idea. Sometimes when you vanish, it can take an entire global cooldown just for the stealth bar to show up. You don't really notice it until you start trying to do things like vanish cheap shot or vanish sap. There are plenty of times where I expect to cast ambush, but it casts backstab instead. You might be thinking, well, what if I use a macro like this? It should always pick the right spell, and I can put it on a different action bar that doesn't change. But this doesn't work either. I, I run into the same problem, randomly casting backstab even though I'm in stealth. My advice, as annoying as it sounds, is to make your default and stealth action bars exactly the same. You should have a different keybind for every ability. This way you can vanish into a cheap shot or ambush even if your stealth bar decides it needs a one second vacation before it comes into work today. This is a one button poison application macro. You can left click it to use it on your main hand and right click to use it on your off hand. You can even change the poison that gets applied by adding modifiers. The last line of the macro takes care of the poison override confirmation. Be careful with this macro. It will click accept to any dialog box that shows up. For example, you could accidentally accept a cue for Rathi Bazin when you're already in Warsong Gulch. Because of this, I prefer not to use it. This macro allows you to drop the flag in Warsong Gulch for a split second and stun someone so you can get away. You can do this really quickly before people react. Just remember to pick up the flag. The name of the buff could be Horde Flag or Alliance Flag. I'm not really sure, but just change it to match the name of the buff you see when you hover over it in-game. The goal behind this macro is to cast Expose Armor on a target without breaking Sap, Gouge, or Blind. Expose Armor starts your auto attack, but it doesn't actually do any damage itself. This lets you use your combo points and reopen on a target with less armor. I have no idea if this macro will work in Classic. The reason it might not work is because often the entire macro gets executed before Expose Armor is technically cast in-game. Meaning that the slight delay causes Expose Armor to start your auto attack after Stop Attack has been executed. This is also possible without the macro by standing at a perfect right angle to your enemy. Because even though it starts your auto attack, you can't hit them from that angle. This is pretty hard to do though, if not impossible, against blinded targets because they move around. So that's why the macro is really nice to have. You can actually do this with Cheap Shot as well. In fact, you can Cheap Shot a sap target just for the combo points, then expose armor, all while not breaking sap, and then reopen from stealth. This macro is good. Does a lot of damage. You should use it. Yeah. This will cast blind at your mouse over if you have one. Otherwise, it will cast blind at your target. This is technically a buff to rogues in Classic from vanilla, because it means you can blind someone without losing combo points on your target. Unless Blizzard nerfs this in the future. I have no idea. You can use mouse over with gouge and kick as well if you'd like, but I prefer not to. Melee abilities on mouse over just feel strange to me, but I can see why people like it. The question I have is will it remove your combo points from your current target when you gouge a mouse over target? I'm not sure what to expect with this one, so let me know if you guys have an answer. I also have this version, which can be useful for getting an extra tick of bandage healing in PvP. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like this series, you can subscribe to see more content in the future. I'd like to say thank you to my patrons. Uh, patron. You can get the script for this video and more over on my Patreon, so check out the link in the description if you'd like to help support me and the channel. Later!